Welcome, welcome gospel musicians, and thank you for joining me for another week of Piano Lesson with Warren, the channel where we talk about gospel music, how to become a better gospel player, especially as it relates to lines, runs, licks, passing chords, reharmonization, altered substitution, you know, just all that fun stuff, as I would call it. And today we're going to look at the hymn, Oh How I Love Jesus, and I'm going to show you some chords altered extended chords that you can use and then I have a little goodie for you towards the end so stick around so this hymn right here I'm going to show you the way it was played first or the way you hear it a lot just using the basic chords so that's the five One, to six, uh-huh, back to one. That's basically how you hear the hymn, the hymn played a lot. Now let's look at some spots that we can use altered extended harmony. And before we go there, what are altered extended harmony? Well, it's when you extend the chord beyond a seventh into a ninth, eleventh, or thirteenth, and you alter one of those extended notes. So when I do something like this, I'm playing a C7 sharp nine. That's it's called an altered uh, chord. Sharp 11th, altered chord. Flat 13th, altered chord. All of those are altered chords because they either have a flat or a sharp in it. And that's called altered extensions. And you can use these in virtually any song to give it that modern spin, that modern twist that you hear in a lot of the gospel songs. But there are a lot of sort of rules regarding voicings, regarding passing chords, regarding reharmonization that you must learn first. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that later. Here we go. So now we're going to look at some spots. So I would go. Mm, there is a name I love to hear. I love to sing his words it sounds like music in my ear the sweetest name on earth oh how I love Jesus oh how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, because he first loves me. You can even throw that old school right there. See, see some places I was using those chords? And it didn't interrupt the melody. Let me do that one more time. Da 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 da. We're gonna go to five normally. Instead of going to one, I'm gonna do a turnaround. Words. Right here, we have this sharp eleventh chord right here. Yeah. So I did a turnaround. With the three, six, then my two as a minor 11, then my five. Now instead of going to, it sounds like music in my ear. I went to the, the F sharp minor seven flat five, also known as a half diminished. 
And why that chord works? Because it still has the same melody tone, yeah? It sounds like music. And I'm just doing a 2-5 now to take me all the way back up to 6. It sounds like music. So, so I can do something like... Uh-huh. Then and then to my six. And that works because the melody still lines up with a lot of those notes. So Now, what am I doing? My voicing. And this is one of the number one rule to use an altered extension. Voice to either the melody or to a diatonic harmonized note. What do I mean by that? Now, we're in the key of C. So if I'm not voicing to the melody, for like, example, when I go... This is the melody. I could have either voiced it like that or voiced it like this because I'm voicing to a diatonic tone right here that nicely harmonized, harmonizes the melody. So it sounds like music in, in my ear. Or I could have just voice. Because again, diatonic harmony, diatonic note that nicely harmonizes the, harmonizes the melody. So it sounds like music in my ear. The sweetest name. Right here, flat nine, but again, I'm voicing to the melody. On earth. So number one, voice to the melody. If you don't want to voice to the melody, number two, voice to a diatonic note that nicely harmonizes the melody. How do you know what note harmonizing the harmonizes the melody nicely? Well, there are a couple of rules. Thirds. Fourths. Sixth. Say that again. Third. Fourth. Sixth. A third. Sixth. Or fourth. Melody likes to be harmonized in those fashion. Third, sixth, and fourth. So once we're voicing. We want a voice to one of those. So that's one of the rules. And there are some others. Yeah? So if we go back again. There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing his words. It sounds like music in my ear. The sweetest name I know How, how I love G I'm mm, Nice 2-5 passing just to go to 5 But you know, I'm playing this sort of minor 11th without a 3rd, yeah? That's it, but sometimes I just like how it sounds without a 3rd It gives you that ambiguity, you know? Then a nice resolution to a 6-9. If I want, I could do, by simply introducing that C, it becomes a 13th, yeah? So all these little cool things you can do. And I have a course that I just released 
on altered extensions that goes through all the steps, the rules, and it's all in the key of C. And I'm going to talk about that in a little bit, but let's continue with this. There is a name I love to hear. You can set that up with a dominant to take you to five. I love to sing his word. It sounds like music in my ear. From the sweetest name I hear. Oh, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. How I love Jesus Because He first loves me Again Oh, how I love Jesus Oh, how I love Jesus Oh, how I love Jesus because he first loves me. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loves me. So those are some spots you can use altered extensions. Hmm? F ninth then and and or all these are two five turnarounds. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love even do some other stuff like see oh how I love Jesus oh how I love Jesus I can do oh how I love So as you can see, there are a lot of options. You know, this is just one way of doing it. There are a lot of options for reharmonizations and all that stuff. And a part of it involves, well, first and foremost, knowing the song in its entire form already. And then there are some rules and some steps and some tips and things you can use to get there. In my course, gospel altered extensions, I break that all down in the key of C using popular progressions. So I show you if you're going from a five to a four, how you can reharm that using altered extensions, going from one to a five, 
going from three to a six, I, all the different variations. And I use these in popular gospel songs and hymns to break it down for you. So you can really get a grasp. Now you might say, only in the key of C? Yeah, you know, I went deep in the key of C as it relates to how to voice altered extensions, why I use certain voicings, because you have to change voicings as the song change. And I go through all of that, give you some tips and some sort of rules to keep in mind. These are rules that will stay the same as it relates to usage of the altered extended chords. Yeah. So if you want to be able to do this, what I'm doing in any hymn, any song, then go get the course Impossible Altered Extensions. All right. It teaches you sharp nine, sharp five, flat 13th, sharp 11th, and all of that, all in the key of C. Why only the key of C? Because there will be 11 more courses of its kind that focus on each key. And the reason why we're focusing on each key is because this is a big concept and you don't want to be experimenting in too many keys too early. So this first course is in the key of C. Once you couple this with like the gospel passing chords, you're unstoppable. You know, you'll be able to do this on any song and doing do it gracefully. Because again, there is a such thing as too much usage of altered extensions. So, you know, you do it gracefully, gracefully so it sounds nice, works beautiful with the melody, and it just gives the song a nice lift. You know, it's like giving the house a new coat of paint, you know, make it just look fresh and more modern. Gospel altered extended chords. You want to be able to master all the stuff in C with all your hymns, all your worship songs, then go check out that course. In the course, I have provided the LMS file and the MIDI file for everything that was played, and I also have it scored. So if you can read music and it helps you to learn faster, to see that on the score, then you can use that to your advantage. If you don't read music at all, that's fine. That's why we have the MIDI file and the LMS file. So you can play back that in your DAW or in Mediculous or any MIDI software. So you can visually see what's going on. You can slow it down. And even if you want to transpose it to other keys, you can do so as well. This course is really going to take your playing to the next level in terms of usage of these chords. This is it. This is what advanced playing is all about. So if you're stuck at the intermediate level, and you're wondering, how do I get to that next sound? You know, that sound that I've been chasing for years. This is where it starts. Usage of altered extensions. All right. Go check that out over at Piano Lesson with Warren.com. Click the link in the description and you can find all the information about this course. You can stream it in my membership area when you become a member or you can purchase it as a download one-off. This course will really transform you and it will challenge you to think outside the box because part of this usage of altered extensions is being creative. You have the theory to back you up and then it let the creation just run wild. And you're gonna be surprised of some of the beautiful sounds you can get, all playing in the key of C. You know, there's some misconceptions that Man, if I want to sound advanced, I need to be playing in the key of A flat. Or I need to be playing in the key of D flat or C sharp. No, 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 no. You can sound advanced in any key. What you got to learn is the concepts. If you want to get to these sounds, this advanced gospel sound, then go check out how to use this course. All right? So until then, keep listening, keep singing, keep practicing. If you're new to the channel, please give me a subscribe. Give me a like and a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And I will see you next week. Don't forget to go check out Gospel Altered Extensions over at Piano Lesson with Warren. See you soon.